What is going on guys, it's Noah here with Custom RC Mods and I've been away a little bit so I think it is well warranted that I do an update video for you guys. And you can see I've got all the planes here. The background's a little bit of a mess, but I'm sorry for uh, not being here for the past four or five months. I've been super busy with other things such as school, finding out college, future stuff. So yeah, I'm happy to say that I've made some decisions. My time is now freeing up for my uh, passions, my hobbies. Um, and of course that comes back to YouTube, video creating and of course flying these airplanes. So yeah, let's just do a general update here in the video. Um, and I just wanna say for anybody who is uh, thinking about that video that I made in my last one, which was designing an EDF jet in AutoCAD. I am planning on making a part two, um, but it could be here in a week or two. Uh, so yeah, don't hold me to that. But if you are interested, please comment down below. And uh, I knew there was about 40 or so people who watched that video and were interested. I got some comments on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, if you guys are interested um, in what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis um, in the custom RC mods world, please follow me on Instagram at custom RC mods official. I'll have a link to it in the description below. But let's go ahead and talk through my planes here. Um, as you guys know, right when I left, I did a full build extravaganza. I've been flying them intermittently uh, in my cracks of time, and we also um, have a lot of updates and things to do in that nature. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the two I have right here. This one's, of course, the Bloody Baron. This is a, a champ. I did have a front end collision, but I just beefed it up with some hot glue, things like that. This is a really durable aircraft, um, but it flies really well, very, very fast. Um, haven't had any incidents to speak of with it. So if you guys watch the uh, build series, I'll have it linked down below. Um, you'll just see that's the same exact state as we're in with this. All right, so now on to the FTP40. If you watch the uh, video for this during the build extravaganza, you know that I really like this aircraft. And it's a great Warbird. Um, it's not as fast as you might think that something like the Mustang or the MiG-3 would be. However, it is very maneuverable and it's a lot of fun to fly, especially for um, advanced pilots like myself. If you put it on some high rates, it's just such a dream and you can do some pretty crazy aerobatics with it as well. So I still haven't fixed the wing. There's a lot big crack on the underside of it and I still haven't put the canopy on, um, but I wanna do those in the future. We'll see uh, how this holds up. There are a few building errors on here, so I might just build a whole new air aircraft if uh, I have some time for it. But as of right now, I'm just gonna keep flying it as it is, and if I get some uh, poster board, I'll make the canopy. But other than that, I really like this plane. Nothing really too much uh, has happened with it, but it's just a really fun plane to fly. So now let's get into some action, um, or not really. This is the um, FT-22 prop and slot jet. Um, I don't really like this plane that much. Uh, surprisingly, uh, you know, it's a fun plane to fly if you have an overpowered setup on it, but this one is just slightly underpowered. Um, so all you really can do is just whiz by. Um, it's not a very fast plane either. Um, you just whiz around and it sounds really cool. It's very loud, just like most prop and slots are, but there's nothing crazy. I don't think I can even get full vertical and my rates aren't, aren't crazy on this thing either. Um, so we might just test it, but if this thing completely destroys itself, I won't really care that much and I'll just build a different plane out of it. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, it is a pretty good plane for beginners, uh, but if it's not overpowered or anything crazy like this one, uh, just really isn't anything crazy, then I wouldn't really recommend it for an advanced pilot. Uh, so yeah, that's my thoughts on the FD-22, but I haven't really crashed it. Nothing has happened to it. Um, as, aside from the initial crash in the uh, build video. So yeah, check that out. Again, playlist in the description below. All right, so now onto the Vigan. This plane is a lot of fun to fly. I really, really enjoy spending time in the air with this thing. But uh, one thing I do have to say is that my setup's a little bit tail heavy. So I've had some very questionable um, encounters with the wind and things like that. If you get it up in high alpha, Basically, since you're not going forward, uh, your control surfaces are basically useless. So you kind of have to cut off the throttle and then it'll fly back to earth really weird. And then once you pick up airspeed, you will, uh, you know, obviously regain control of the aircraft. Uh, but like they say in the flight test video, you can high off of it. Yeah, but then it kind of just hovers and it stops. So 
I'm not really sure about that. I'm gonna add some nose weight and try it again. Uh, one other thing I'm kind of encountering, you can kind of see it right there if you look very closely. Um, the wings are very close to folding. I don't have any sort of spar, hot glue spar, carbon fiber, you know, I don't have any of that in this plane. So I might cut, uh, cut out a little cavity under on the underside here for a uh, barbecue skewer spar or something like that. But as of right now, I'm kind of scared to fly it, especially in high wind or high G uh, scenarios uh, because I'm really scared of the wing folding. This one took a better part of two days to build um, on my build series. So yeah, I don't really want to have to total this thing and you know have any issues. So we might have to do that. But other than that, it's a really fun, very maneuverable plane to fly. And let's move on to the next one. All right, so now on to some carnage. These are the last two planes in the FT extravaganza build series that I did. Again, I've mentioned it like five times, but link is in the description below. If you wanna see more details on any of these planes, of course, we have dedicated videos for each, but these are both very, very, very broken planes, and I'm gonna be either repairing them or just totaling them and building whole new airplanes. I'll just tell you a little bit about each one. This one is the FT Scout, and as you can see, we had a little bit of an incident. Um, I broke my last prop. I have to get some more, they're on order. Um, but I broke my last prop last night flying this thing. I was kind of getting back in the swing of things. And then I had a receiver brown out um, when I was flying and it just went straight into the ground. It was not a good experience at all. Um, but I guess that's what you get when you uh, do knockoff spectrum receivers off of Amazon that are super cheap. So yeah, I can't really say I didn't expect that. Um, but right now we're basically just uh, facing a little bit of a cracked fuselage. I can re-glue the wings in, smash it all together with some glue, and we should be good to fly. However, um, if you know me, you've watched some of my other airplane videos, you know that I actually like a really, really nice, aesthetically pleasing plane. So we might just total it and build a seventh Scout. This is the sixth one that I've ever built, and uh, it might just be time to move on. I really do like this plane overall. I think this setup's a little bit underpowered on it, uh, but we'll see just kind of on how this thing performs um, if I ever repair it. I don't know. This We're just going to put this on hold for now and see what I decide to do. I'll keep you guys posted um, on Instagram probably. So yeah. All right, so now on to the arrow. And as you can see, this is in no sort of flyable condition either. This scenario is pretty much the same exact thing. Receiver brownout. Um, and then it just crashed straight into the ground. Um, I really haven't had too bad luck with these receivers, but both of the incidents with the Scout and the Arrow have been very, very similar, you know, just full throttle straight into the turf. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles when you're getting uh, really good deals on these parts. So I can't really complain. I did kind of sign up for it. I have not tested this aircraft if the components are still working. A lot of times when you crash the Arrow, since the flight control surfaces are so big, uh, it can tend to strip servos. I've probably stripped three or four servos on my uh, past arrows, um, but I am probably gonna go ahead and just rebuild this entire plane. It's only two sheets of foam, and I'll be out about an hour or two of time. Uh, I've built a few of these, and you know I got it down to a science, but one thing that I can say is really, really important with these wings is to uh, kind of know which side is which, keep your orientation when you're flying. And I actually did crash this thing originally right after I filmed the video um, because I didn't put any tape on it, but you can see I put some leading edge and underside tape um, to help with that. So yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm 99% sure I'm gonna rebuild it, of course, uh, just separately. But if you'd like to see me uh, show you how to fix this, um, just very simply and see if we can get it flying again. I'd be happy to do that. I'll actually probably experiment with that. But in the end, we're gonna build a whole new arrow. So yeah, let's just go ahead and toss that off to the side. And finally, I've got my uh, tiny whoop that you guys have seen in some recent videos. Um, I've been working on new tracks and things like that. Um, and this thing right here has been quite the trooper. However, I think it's definitely time for a new frame. You can see it's coming apart and I actually do have a decent amount of a uh, wobble coming from the uh, motors and some of the motors are burning out. It's you know drifting all over the place. So it might be time just to replace it all together. However, I'm going to maybe look into some new motors. Definitely a new frame, like I said. And we'll investigate the camera mounting situation because obviously there's no protection. And I couldn't blame the camera if it just wanted to give out right now because in this shop I've got a concrete floor and I have just straight down bashed it into it a few times. So yeah, I do not treat this thing nicely at all, um, but I guess 
I can really not complain at this point. It's been a real trooper throughout it. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole way of all the custom RC mods, uh, planes, quads, and I do have a few more projects that I'm working on, such as, like I said earlier, the EDF build that I might replace the Vigan uh, with, but we'll see, that might be in a month or two. Um, I'm also working on some collaborations with my friend Alexander, aka AK Engineering on Instagram. I'll have his uh, Instagram linked in the description below. Um, we might be working on some cl complex balsa builds, CNC cutting, 3D printing, stuff like that that will bring to the Custom RC Mods channel. So if you're interested in that, drop a comment, leave a like, things like that, just to show me that you want to see some of that coming soon. Um, I am going to start doing some more flight videos. I know that you guys like those, especially the ones that have some incidents in them. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm back. Yes, that's right. Go ahead, DM me on Instagram if you have any video ideas. Comment on any of my posts. Give me some love down in the description or in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one.